hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel on civil brains so uh, if you remember in one of my previous video we had seen how to do a petrol bunk construction right so today we will see the next part of this so if you remember this is how we started with right and then i had explained you how to keep this uh, mesh and all and this is one of the tank which was installed but i did not show you how this tank are actually installed right See, usually what happens when you are supposed to do the installation of such big tanks, we usually call this uh, crane, okay? And it, it will be tied in both the side, like you can see it here. It has been hooked on either side and with the help of this belt, they are going to lift it. And exactly wherever you want to place it, they are going to bring and they are going to place it here. And you can see a small uh, kind of arrangement done here, right? Over that, we are going to place this. Hmm? And finally, once you are placed, no, this is how it looks, okay? We are almost, uh, this is almost like 16th or 17th day of the construction which is going on. Okay, almost 20% of the construction has happened. So you can see one tank here. This is a second tank where that uh, particular, you know, uh, tank was kept. And here you can see these are the four pedestal. One, two, three and four pedestal. Already the concreting and all is done. But I will show you how the starter concrete was marked for this particular thing. Okay, yeah. And you can see here, see. Now once the concreting is done, you can see a kind of uh, uh, MS uh, bar kept here, right? So these bars are kept here so that when you bring those uh, steel structure, that is ISMB sections and all, you can uh, keep it here. I'll show you the video also how this particular thing was uh, installed on the side. Yeah, yeah. See, first we will see how the starter concrete is marked. So if you remember, this is how the starter concrete, I mean, this is how the starter frame was fixed. Okay. Whatever is the size of your pedestal, that was first mark, and this mason will exactly keep that uh, wooden uh, runner over that, and after that they are going to place the concrete, right? So this is called a starter concrete, and some people call this as a kicker concrete. Okay, starter or kicker, both are one and the same. Then you have to check the dimension, and all these are your center line. You can see this line which has been put here, you no, know, the thread. So that is a center line. From where you get all those things? Those things we get from the drawings which we already seen. Like if you had taken my course and all, everything I've explained to you in a more uh, crystal clear manner how to do all those things, right? So this is how you have to arrange the starter frame. So you have to check, okay, like so let us say you are a site engineer now. All these things will be done by the mason. But once it is done, you have to come and you have to check whether this person has done it properly or not like what are, what all you are supposed to check is you have to come and check whether this is exactly at the right angle that is exactly it is at 90 degree or not and whatever marking you have done because below this beneath this there is a marking which you have done for the starter frame okay so that also you need to check and this you can see you know this gap you can see this is actually a clear cover right so if you remember it is a column here right and for the column we give a clear cover of 40 mm so from here to here it has to be 40 mm from here to here it has to be 40 mm, here to here 40 mm and that side also it has to be 40 mm. So in this way you have to manage all these things. So next we'll see one more thing. So uh, as I mentioned, I'll be showing you how this particular frame was fixed. Okay. So we'll see how it has been fixed. So these people have uh, prepared a arrangement something like this. These are the MS uh, rods, mild steel rods, what you have, plain mild steel rods. Okay. They have been welded with the help of one single stirrup. And this is a kind of a grease what they have put because if you don't grease it, it will be difficult for you to place your base plate. So what they have done, they have done this arrangement, okay. And then they are going to bring it and place it over that particular column. Right, you can see uh, here already the uh, placing is done. You can see here, no. Now they are going to place it there. So you have to do a welding to that. And before that, see always remember RCC construction is a bit easy when compared to the steel structure. In RCC, even if you do a small mistake here and there, uh, if you make a mistake while doing the concreting of this column, in the plastering you can make everything uh, zero. I mean, you can balance that. But in steel structure what happens is that even a single mm makes a difference. So whenever we put up a steel structure and all, for us each and everything should be accurate. If it is written like 48 mm is my center to center distance, then exactly 48 mm has to come. Whereas in uh, RCC structure, it doesn't matter. Even if you go 10, 20 mm, if you get a access in the plastering, you can cover all those things. But in steel structure, it's a bit difficult. So that is why steel structure is a bit uh, you know difficult uh, during the execution. You have to be very vigilant. And this is a base plate what we have. 
and over this uh, those uh, anchor bolts and over this the steel uh, columns are gonna come okay so this is how they are bringing it so it has a thickness of around uh, 20 mm the thickness of that base plate is around 20 mm i'll move forward again okay now they are measuring that uh, distance i'll move forward a bit see this distance they have to because this is one of a critical work because once you do the concreting it's very difficult for you to you know change it from there so each and every measurement you have to consider so the center to center measurement is very important see this is that center to center what he wants you can see it here no so this center to, because here your bolts are going to come so this center and this center should match on that particular column where uh, he is trying to adjust it right so they are taking a measurement for this base plate center to center and this measurement he is also trying to see whether from this particular center to this particular center what is the distance the same thing has to be uh, done on the other two side also because altogether there are four columns again these are the other two columns here also it has to be same not even a 1 or 2 mm difference should come and later it will be very difficult to bring it into a level right so I hope uh, these things uh, you need to be careful while doing all these things we will try to go forward again okay now this is called as water level so what is this water level here what we do whatever is the top level of this particular bar no? the same I have to maintain it here so what is the best practice to do that the best practice is that you get something a water tube I mean you have to take a pipe and you have to fill the water and just keep it here okay the whatever is the top level of the water now the same top level will come here and wherever it reaches that will be the exact level of this particular uh, bar so based on that you have to do the adjustment here now you can see this guy is doing that same thing He's trying to check whether it's the same water level okay you can see the top of that water here no so if you see it's here somewhere here yeah you can see that bubble right see the bubble is somewhere here now okay so it keeps on fluctuating so now it has come and stopped there so that is a top level so this and so you can see that small bubble over there right so you can see a bubble here and then again on the other side all the four you have to check okay see now you can you can see the bubble here right so this bubble will exactly come and match here that means it has exactly uh, I mean exactly put into the execution now you see right so that is how you have to do if there is a deviation let us say if your tube is showing little up then you have to adjust this particular uh, setup here so that is how the water level uh, will be very helpful for you during the execution so we'll move forward again so again the same thing as I mentioned uh, the center to center distance has to be same this is what is again trying to check the center from the from this center to that center and the other two column and based on that this guy is trying to pull a bit maybe there is a small adjustment which is supposed to happen so this is how you have to do the execution right yeah so next you see once that is done this is how they try to keep the base plate so this already they have done and this is how the base plate is to be kept even if you do or do if you are working on a steel structure also same thing we'll be doing we'll be keeping the base plate and then we are going to bring the column section but that will be done with the help of a, a crane here also maybe in the further videos uh, do subscribe to my channel and keep so maybe in further videos i'll be uh, showing you those things also how the steel uh, columns and all will be erected right so we'll go forward again
Now again you have to do the adjustment here, okay? With the help of the tube level, you have to keep this plate exactly at the center. Yeah, right now so everything it has uh, gone into this particular rebar, all the holes have been um, gone. Exactly proper now. Yeah, so you can see it here, right? This is how it is done. And once this is done, we have to do the concreting of this, okay? You can see this much part, we have not done the concreting. So next you have to do the concreting. And why this particular hole has been kept, we'll see that in the next lecture, okay? Yeah. So, yeah. So this will be the last one. I'll be showing you why how this pipe has been fixed. So before that, uh, if somebody who is into my channel for the very first time, if you're interested to learn all these things in a more detailed way, there are certain courses of mine. Uh, you can learn the site engineering course which has almost you know at for 24 hours of the content the cost of this is 360 rupees it's not 16 right so you'll be getting a coupon or sometimes the cost will be 400 rupees not more than that either 360 or 400 rupees so you will be getting a lot of uh, I have explained all those things in a more detailed way right from the building execution from the general introduction of the course sequence of construction basics of civil engineering why steel is used different diameters then right from the excavation right from the excavation to entire slab casting how it has to be done uh, superstructure activities how it is to be done all this has been explained with the, uh, uh, real life uh, site videos images and all those concepts what we studied in our engineering days then miscellaneous topics all these things have been covered in a more uh, detailed way so if you're interested you can buy it so altogether there are 16,000 students who are enrolled in the course there are almost 2000 reviews for my course which is having 4.4 uh, star rating on the udemy platform so all this you can go here thank you sir for this course it is very useful for fresher beautifully put together a good level of explaining okay wonderful experience i am a student in home modeling provided basic technique and all these things okay uh, if you are interested you can go uh, go through all these courses and all you can buy it you will be getting it for 360 or 400 rupees not more than that um, so I'll be putting the link in the description uh, do visit to this particular page similarly there are a lot of uh, courses again if you want to learn all the drawings structural drawings how to be understood and all again there's a one more course again the cost is 360 to 400 rupees already uh, 13 1332 students have enrolled which has got 4.3 star rating here already uh, more than uh, 2800 students have enrolled 2700 students have enrolled in this course okay again you will be getting around 28 hours of the content having 92 lectures you will be learning a g plus 3 building how to um, read it a g plus 3 residential building how a etaps model is done a g plus 2 hostel building a 3400 square feet uh, house plan how you have to understand the structural details industrial building uh, basic e tab commands and all those things okay again same thing go through all these reviews all the reviews are good okay uh, i learned new things here excellent course very clear explanation course was totally beneficial to me and all those things anyway we'll go back to the main part of our um, video and the final part i'll be showing you how it is how it has been executed yeah so what they have done after that after that uh, yeah this is the pipe what they have put so we'll see in the next video and all what is the importance of this pipe okay see how they have kept the pipe here this is how they have inserted the pipe here it has got a l bend here okay and on the other side you can see it has already been concreted this particular column which i told you to that it has to be concreted so it, now already the concreting is done here and these are the bolt if you can remember these were the bolts and this is that the base plate we had a circular opening right through that this particular pipe has been passed and this is the one tank which has already been placed there so the video video is a bit shaky uh, sorry for that yeah so here already the pedestal concreting is done so that in the base plate there was a small circular opening right so this is the importance of that because i wanted to pass this particular pvc pipe that is why the base plate had that particular uh, opening in the center and finally after this we'll see what will be the next procedure up to here i hope uh, you have understood and so you see that opening of that pipe now we have brought it from here because it was an l-shaped pipe right see from here the straight surface will come and that L bend we have made opening here you can see here that opening is here okay so this is how that uh, entire work has been uh, done so far maybe in the next lecture also we'll try to see few other parts and all 
I mean other uh, things how it has been done uh, and on the other side is the office building which is going on we'll see how those execution will be done so that it will be useful for us tomorrow if you are working on some uh, uh, petrol bunk construction so I hope you have enjoyed this lecture we'll see you back in the next lecture please do subscribe the channel so that you get all these videos and all these updates so we'll see you back in the next lecture thank you